Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tolwani rakowska fale and welcome to Meducation Africa, basic medical education and life-saving tips for Africans by Africans. Today we're going to be covering an incredibly important topic that could potentially help you save somebody's life one day. Today we're going to talk about an approach to an unconscious person using the mnemonic doctors know their ABCs. Yes, you heard that right. It's as simple as remembering your ABCs, just with a little twist. First things first, let's break down this mnemonic. D stands for danger. Your safety as a rescuer is the number one priority. So before you approach an unconscious person, make sure the scene is safe. Look for things such as traffic, fire, or hazardous material before you approach the person. If you see any of these things there, do not approach the person, just call for help. R is for response. Check if the person is able to respond to you. Gently tap their shoulder and ask Hello? loudly, are you, are you okay? Hello? Look out for any response or any movement. You may think that the person is unconscious, but they may just be heavily sleeping or even just be drunk. S stands for shout for help. If the person is not responding, you should shout for help or help. call help. for help. Hello? The sooner you get help, the better chance sure. the person has to recover. Hello? Hi. A stands for airways. The person's airways needs to be open and clear in order for them to be able to breathe properly. Open their airways using the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Tilt their head back and lift their chin. If this doesn't work, you can use the jaw thrust maneuver instead. Check for blockages or anything that could obstruct their breathing. B e is for breathing. Check their breathing using the look listen and feel method. Put your ear by their mouth and look at their chest. Watch for the rise and fall of their chest. Listen for sounds of breathing and feel for air on your cheek. When we talk about breathing, we're not just talking about checking for the absence or presence of breath. We are also checking for the quality of breathing. Normal breathing is quiet and effortless. Sometimes a person could be breathing, but the breathing is abnormal. And this abnormal breathing means that you need to act immediately. So let's talk about some abnormal breathing sounds that would tell you that you need to act quickly. First, we have gasping breaths. Think about how a fish gasps for air when it's out of water. This is what we mean by gasping breaths. They can sound something like this. <gasps> this breath sound is not normal and it means that something is seriously wrong. So if you hear somebody breathing like this, please know that it is not normal breathing and you need to act immediately. Secondly, we have wheezing. This is a high-pitched whistling sound made while breathing. It's often heard when exhaling, so when breathing out, but it can also be heard when inhaling or when breathing in. It's like when you blow air through a small hole. This could mean that the person's airway is not completely open, making it harder for them to breathe. This is what wheezing can sound like. Next, there's strider, which is like a grating sound. Imagine trying to breathe through a straw that is being squeezed tightly. That is what strider sounds like. It sounds kind of like grating. This is what strider could sound like. <coughs> Lastly, we have gurgling. If you hear gurgling when a person is breathing, this could mean that there's fluid in their airways. This could happen in cases of severe trauma or when a person is unconscious and cannot swallow or clear their throat. So remember folks, when you're checking for B, breathing, you're checking for both the presence of breaths and the quality of those breaths. If you find someone unconscious and their breathing is abnormal, gasping, 
wheezing, grating, or gurgling, or they're not breathing at all, then you need to act immediately. You need to move on to C, which is for CPR. Start CPR immediately. Put one hand over the other in the middle of the person's chest and push hard and fast about 100 to 120 compressions every minute. If you're trained in CPR, you can give two rescue breaths after every 30 chest compressions. But the most important thing is the chest compressions. Chest compressions can keep the person's blood circulating until professional help arrives. Remember, CPR can double or even triple a person's chance of survival after cardiac arrest. So it's important that you start it immediately as soon as you recognize that this person is unconscious and not breathing properly or not breathing at all. If the person is unconscious but their breathing is normal, then just put them into the recovery position. Putting someone in the recovery position will keep their airways clear and open so that they are able to breathe normally. It also ensures that any vomit or fluid won't cause them to choke. So in summary, if you find someone who's unconscious, you can remember what to do with this mnemonic. Doctors know their ABCs, where D is for danger, R is for response, S is shout for help, A is for airways, B is for breathing, and C is for CPR. Remember, in a situation like this, every second counts and your actions can make a difference. It can even save somebody's life. Thank you everyone for joining us today on Meducation Africa. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more life-saving tips and medical information. Stay safe and stay aware.